Hello students, welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh Message Biology. Today our topic is uh, organization and populations. So without any late, we will start the session. And before that, I want to share this uh, link into our uh, telegram groups and whatsapp groups. Okay. Let us check uh, if our session is uh, started or not and if my voice is clear or not first. Team is already continuing. Right. This is the first question in our today's quiz. Asymptote, asymptote in a logistic growth curve is obtained when asymptote in a logistic growth curve is obtained when when k is equal to n or when k greater than n or when k is less than the n or the value of r approaches zero. When we get the asymptote uh, logistic growth curve, that is the question. So, Hello students, how is your J2020? Just only it is uh, started I think. Yes. Asymptote logistic growth growth curve obtained when k is equal to n or when k is greater than equal to n when k is less than n uh, the value of r approaches the zero where we get a, a logistic growth curve you know the value of logistic growth curve the equation sorry the pen that's why it can down to write the equation on this um, screen but the asymptote uh, logistic growth curve. Logistic growth curve you can dn by dt or n into uh, n minus k by n. If k is equal to n, if both are same, automatically r into n is equal to 0. So the right answer is, the first question the right answer is what? Option A is the right answer for this question. Okay. The next question, plants which produce characteristic nematophores and show VB pari plants, plants which produce characteristic uh, nematophores, nematophores means what, the, the roots have respiratory pores, they are called nematophores and show VB pari, VB pari means what, in situ inside seed producing seed germinating that is called what inside inside seed germinating characteristic that is produced by or shown by which type of plants that is the question so for this the right answer is what is the right answer for this question that is hollow files what is hello Files. The right answer for the second question is mouse is also not working. Okay, I'll do one thing instead of pen, I will take high highlighter. 
The right answer is Hello Files. Hello Files is the right answer. Next, presence of plants arranged into well-defined vertical layers depending on their height can be seen best in presence of plants arranged into well-defined vertical layers depending on their height can be seen best in students don't disappoint if you are if you are not going to read over comments for this session because uh, in my mobile it is not played uh, in a proper way so i don't know how many members are attended for our live session and uh, where we are in the live so i'm going to conclude this live session with the question and answers after completion of the live session you can prepare from this uh, uh, section okay so for this question the right answer is what presence of plants arranged into well defined vertical layers depending on their height can be seen best in which areas you can observe this type of arrangement yes that is nothing but in tropical rainforest plants are arranged based on their height next when very important question it is a previous question fourth question if a lot allotted assigned to beneficial in action and minus sign is determined as a negative determinal and zero is neutral okay determinal for minus for neutral zero for beneficial attract uh, interaction plus in which type of interaction one species get benefited and other get harmed simply that is parasitic mutualism means both get benefited Amensalism means what? One get, uh, neither get benefited, uh, but one get adversely affected. Okay. One benefited, neither neutral, another is neutral, that is commensalism. So for this, the right answer is parasitism. It is both plus. Amensalism what? both get one get harmed another one get uh, neutral come to the fifth question the principle of competitive exclusion was stated by it is very easy question that is gf gas competitive exclusion was stated by who that is jf gas Gauss's principle of competitive exclusion states that Gauss's principle in chapter about competitive exclusion Come to exclusion. Hello, Naveen. Uh, good evening. In my mobile, uh, I can't observe the students' names and uh, their messages, the participate number, and uh, sorry for that. Because uh, I have very, very lot uh, signals here. Okay. Now, come to the Gauss's principles of competitive exclusion states that sixth question. Yes, according to the Gauss's principle, no two species can occupy the same niche indefinitely for the same limiting so resources. That is the uh, right answer for this question. No two species. Come to the exclusion here. Gauss's explains as the species which have of uh, niche feeding ground feeding habits they can't stay uh, they can't stay indefinitely okay the which have the same uh, economic uh, ecological role same type of feeding habits okay they cannot share the resources they cannot share the resources that is gas's uh, principle in which of the following interactions both partially affected? Both partners are adversely affected means both are negative. In which type of interaction both partners get negative negative interaction? In which? In parasitism one is plus another one is negative. In mutualism both are plus. In predation both partners get affected. No. Predator get benefited. Prey get negative. But in competition both the species uh, get uh, adversely affected, minus and minus, this is the right answer.
further for so the right answer is competition okay next question eighth question an association of individuals of different species living in the same habitat having functional interaction having functional interaction an association of individuals have different living same habitat okay the eighth question different species living in the same habitat and they have functional interaction that is not a ecosystem that is not population that is called biotic community that is called what biotic community the possible reason for these changes is population a produced more offspring than population b no population a consumed the number of uh, populations b that is also wrong because they are herbivores okay both plants populations in this habitat decrease no one get increased and one other get uh, decreased so population b competed more successfully for the food than the population a this is right answer population a so population b successfully competed for the food with competition in a competition with a next question a biologist studied the population of rats in a barn in a barn okay biologist studied the population of rats in a barn uh, he found that uh, the average natality was 250 natality means what the newly born people is called natality birth new births okay that is 250 and average mortality is 240 that means what 250 are newly born rats 240 in that uh, 240 are going to die in that one year so only 10 is there okay remember that I cannot present in the screen because my pen pad is not working but remember the number 250 are going to born and the same year 240 are going to die so 10 is there okay. immigration are 20 so again we have 30 because the immigration is 20 and immigration are 30 so extra 10 are going to born and extra 10 are going to migrate so there is a no increase because okay i think it is working now the pen 250 are going to add to the population from the 240 are going to die 250 add to the 240 are going out from the population and 20 are and 30 are going to population so in this equation we have plus 10 in this equation we have minus 10 so minus 10 plus 10 there is no growth in population so the right answer is B 10th question which of the following is not a parasitic adaptation adhesive, adhesive organs are developed this is parasitic adaptation yes we know that loss of digest or a parasitic adaptation okay loss of unnecessary sense organs is also a parasitic adaptation but loss of reproduction is not a parasitic adaptation okay parasites develop more uh, power to regenerate their number to increase their number so that is parasitic adaptation there is not a parasitic adaptation so for this the right answer is uh, c 12th question what type of human population is represented in this following pyramid reproductive age 20 to 25 years age for example is reproductive age if we consider post reproductive that means uh, 6 plus uh, 36 plus and then uh, okay that is 35 20 to 35 so more than 35 okay if it is 20 to uh, 
40 years. This is 40 to 50. 50 to 60. 60 to 70. And this is what pre-reproductive age. Age persons, uh, it is uh, 10 to 20, 1 to 10. So, which type of population it is? It, is it vanishing population or stable population or declining population or expanding population? Expanding population means what the reproductive persons uh, uh, should be more than the uh, post reproductive and pre reproductive persons should be even more than the reproductive. If it is like pre reproductive, reproductive and post reproductive that is increasing population. If it is in reverse condition, that is declining population. That is what? Declining population. So for this, the right answer is it is declining population because when compared with the reproductive, pre-reproductive is less. Here you can observe. Pre-reproductive is more less than the reproductive per age. Okay. Next come to large woody vines are more commonly found in you already know this in tropical rainforest we can observe the large woody vines next which one of the following is characterized characterized as a parasite in true sense which is a, a true parasite the female anaphylus bites and sucks the blood of humans. It is not a parasite, it is a vector because Anaphilus mosquito not sucks the blood for its feeding purpose. Female mosquito sucks the blood for the reproduction. Okay, and mosquitoes always take plants secretions for their food. So it is not a parasite. Come to the human fetus. Human fetus never considered as the parasite even though human fetus mother. Human fetus takes shelter from the mother. Human fetus makes the mother sick with its, with its development. Okay, mother faces some discomfort with the, the fetus. Still it is not a parasite because mother wants that. And mother never refuses that. And it is the same species. Okay, so this interaction is between two same species. So it is also not a parasite. Okay, the cuckoo lays its eggs in a crow's nest. This is also not a, uh, a true sense of parasite because it is a um, brood parasitism. So the correct definition for the parasite is head louse living in uh, head louse living in human scalp as a well as laying eggs on the human hair. Next, fifteenth question. The logistic population growth is expressed by the equation. I think I just uh, uh, told this equation with you. I just shared the equation at the beginning of our live session. That is dn by dt is equal to rn into k minus n by k. So the right answer is b. Next question. Which one of the following is one of the characteristics of biological community? Biological community characteristic is the stratification. All the remaining are uh, natality, mortality, sex ratio. The remaining all are the factors. Okay, the characteristic is a stratification. Next. Okay, 17th question. We are at 17th question. Okay, 17th question. If anybody watching the session, please uh, click on your right side window uh, for several times uh, up to reach the 17th question or up to reach the current question. Because, uh, because of the lack of uh, uh, proper internet connection, I don't know where I am and uh, the students who are going to chat with me in the box. Okay. 17th question Which one of the following is most appropriately defined? Host is an organism which provides food to another organism. No, as it is not a good definition for the host. 
which provides shelter, food, uh, that is actually shelter is the host. Next, amensalism is relationship which uh, one species is benefited whereas the other is unaffected like this. But this is called commensalism. So this is also not correct definition. Come to the 17th question, uh, option D. Parasite is an organism which always lives inside the body. It is also wrong because ectoparasites are also there. Okay. And predator is an organism that catches and kills the other organism for food is called predator. And the other organism is called what? Prey. Okay. So for this, the right answer is... Uh, Option C. Next question, 18th question. Reduction in vascular tissue, mechanical tissue and cuticle is characteristic of uh, vascular tissue, mechanical tissue, cuticle is characteristic of hydrophytes because they live in the water. They don't require the cuticle, a tough cuticle and uh, they can uh, take the amount nutrients, everything from the surroundings. And there is no, no need of development of vascular tissue. Consider the following four statements about certain desert animals such as kangaroo rat. They have dark colored and high rate of reproduction and excrete solid urine. This is wrong. Okay. They don't have dark color because they are in deserts. They, they need very thin and light colors as their skin color. Next. They do not drink water. Breathe at slow rate to conserve water and have their body covered with thick hairs. This point, okay, it is valid. The, according to some books, they never drink water, but they take seeds as a food and they consume water content from the seed, dry seeds. So they feed on dry seeds and they do not require drinking water. And they excrete very concentrated urine and do not use water to regulate body temperature. So, 2, 3, 4, 3 and 4, 2 and 3, both are they given. So, we will go with uh, option C, 3 and 4 are more appropriate answers for this question instead of uh, 2, they feed on dry seeds and do not require drinking water. Instead of they do not drink water, they do not require drinking water, it is the correct sentence. So, 3 and 4 is the good answer for this question. 20th question. Okay. Curcus species are the dominant component in which type? Curcus species are the dominant component in, in temperate deciduous forests. Afshan Aushin, Muhammad Inayat. Yeah, Muhammad Inayat. Uh, Afshan Aushin, how are you? From RLR, right, Afshan? Twenty-one. If the mean and median pertaining to a certain character of population are of the same value, mean value and median value, if both are same, the following is most likely to occur. Which type of uh, graph we can observe? That is called a normal distribution. Normal distribution or symmetrical distribution. equally on both sides it is equally that is a symmetrical distribution or normal distribution 22nd yes what are you doing Afsha now in which college you are studying 22nd question a high density of elephant population in an area can result in high density of population of the elephants Elephants means what? Uh, you know that elephant and high density means more number of elephants in a area. It causes what? Elephants in area, high density of elephants in area. Causes what? More elephants means automatically there is a competition within the elephants, in between the elephants only, that is called intraspecific competition within the same species. 
long term in Shahin Institute. In first attempt, I scored 345. Very good, Afsha. 345 at uh, first attempt from that uh, uh, area is very good result, but it is not enough, I think, right? So, okay, better uh, long term. Where is a Shahin Institute in Hyderabad or uh, in uh, Jehirabad itself? It is 23rd. Niche overlap indicates. Niche overlap indicates means uh, the same roles are overlapped. Two different parasites on the same host is not correct, but sharing of one or more resources between the two species. Sharing of one or more resources between two species, automatically the niches are overlapped. Okay, in Bedar, very good. I am also in Karnataka, but not in Bedar. I am in Ballari now. Alright. 24th question. Animals have the innate ability to escape from the predation. So, you are in a hostel or uh, are you doing uh, up and down from your home to the Bedar? Animals have the innate ability to escape from predation. Predation. Example for the same are given below. Select the incorrect one. Color change in camelon. That is correct. It is called camouflage. Camouflage means it can change its body color according to the background color to merge uh, with the background to escape from the predator. So this is a good example for escaping. Enlargement of body size by swallowing air in puffer fish. You may observe in uh, Insta reels and something the fish becomes uh, a swallow like this uh, by taking my by drinking more water and it becomes a scary so that is also a good uh, ability to escape from the predator and melanism in moths also but the poison fangs in snakes are the modified tooth to kill the predator or uh, to fight with the predator not for the escaping it cannot escape with its uh, poisonous stings or poisonous uh, fangs. Okay, it can escape uh, by any other characters, but it is for fight. So the right answer for this question is C. Okay, uh, Ranjan is there, right? Eid Mubarak option option. What uh, what about the remaining friends uh, from your? classmates who are going to take a uh, what it is called long term coaching or who are already joined in uh, different uh, colleges for their uh, uh, agriculture or medical or any other degree 25th question just observe the 25th question which one of the following pairs is mismatched tundra permafrost and seven acacia trees is right okay prairie epiphytes this is wrong so the question is asked about mismatch so perfect answer for this question is uh, prairie epiphytes 26 question doing tech b tech f tech Okay, F tech means pharma. Navya engine is also doing long term. Okay, good. Convey all my wishes to uh, to all the students. What is Keystone species? Food tech. Okay, food technology. Yeah, I talk with her, uh, Pravalika and Sravanti, they talk with me uh, before uh, attempting uh, the counseling, I think. Yes. What is keystone species? Keystone species means what? The sp a species which makes up only a small proportion of the total biomass of a community. It has a huge impact on the community organization and survival. Yes. This is called keystone. Even though the number or the proportion is very very small in that community, but its effect is more impact. That is called keystone species. We have to behave and we have to stand like keystone species. 
even though our number is very less our impact should be more uh, our impact should be huge 27th yeah by and all the best uh, option option 27th question mycorrhiza is an example of you know mycorrhiza rhiza means root okay myco means uh, microorganisms like fungus mycorrhiza the name itself indicates it is present it is a fungus present in root and that uh, relationship is a uh, mutation symbiotic relationship okay next question 28th question which type of association is found in between entomophilus flower and pollinating agent entomophilus flower and pollinating agent uh, few may confused with this question as the answer is coevolution of course uh, the pollinator and flower are coevolved not only this but when they ask about this type of particular uh, flower name and pollinating agent that is definitely a mutualism 29th question in desert grasslands which type of animals are relatively more abundant which type of animals are more abundant in desert grasslands yes fossorial fossorial means the animals which dig in the soil and which stay and in the undergrounds okay that type of animals are more in desert grasslands fossorial last but not least uh, plants such as uh, prospis sorry prosopis acacia and uh, capparis represent examples of tropical tropical what tropical deciduous forest tropical evergreen forest tropical grasslands or tropical thorn forests acacia capparis prosopis actually they are present in yeah shekhar reddy mallepalli evergreen forest welcome shekhar reddy and try to mention the question number for this uh, for this question i'll wait for you and your answer please mention the question number is it b for the question number 30 option d thorn forest perfect uh, shekhar reddy the right answer is thorn forest very good so that is for today guys thank you so much for attending and make the session successful but i'm sorry because i'm not responding to the so many comments uh, uh, which is not visible to me because of uh, the poor internet connection from my side and you can follow me in this uh, uh, the remaining all social websites within few days uh, i'm going to take a uh, regular classes within few days in this month only i'll start the classes regular classes and uh, regular quizzes okay because i'm going to a uh, change my home and everything for our uh, internet class purposes all right thank you thank you so much